guys are doing really well tomorrow is uh, going to be my uh, speech uh, at reading speakers club and i will be the first speaker followed by two other speakers who will be delivering their speeches so title of my tomorrow's presentation our speech is going to be <coughs> when we are trying to work uh, on our public speaking skills our communication skills that also shows that we do care we have concern for the other people as well because if we will not be able to express our ideas clearly concisely and effectively and it will be difficult or hard to understand for other people the listener then it just breaks down the flow of the communication and then the people will lose their interest to carry on the further communication i have lots of examples to share uh when i arrived in the uk for the very first time in january 2022 uh, almost 2 years um ago and then i started working uh in november at intent group so <clears throat> one of my fellow was telling me about something but i was hardly able to understand i i literally could not understand and all i could respond to his uh, discussion was picking up some of the cue words for instance i can still vividly recall that conversation a weird conversation so he was telling me about um his son son's story and from the cue words i could pick up the word son school dropped off so that means he was talking about his son that he was busy uh, to take his son to school drop him off there so there is how i was able to uh understand his conversation and then he went on to speak uh, about few other things but i was barely able to understand therefore it uh, uh genuinely leaves a uh, breakdown in communication and uh, but when we are trying to present our ideas clearly effectively then it makes the message quite smooth smooth in its flow and easy to understand for other persons in my current organization uh, during my first initial days i was not good with presentation so i used lots of filler words like uh um, <laughs> and, and uh, it, it was uh, uh, and the listeners they were kind enough uh not to point it out but i did realize that that is not good for the communication and then uh, again i i i was working with my another fellow in glasgow uh he uh, asked me something but i was uh, not able to understand that i asked him pardon me then he shared the same thing again again i was not able to understand and later on uh i ignored his conversation uh just uh, uh that was like answering uh in such a way that it, it is yes and no <laughs> however later on he asked me i am jad i asked you this then i told him um, uh, quite frankly i was not able to understand he asked he to then questioned why i did not ask him again and i replied to him that <clears throat> whenever i'm asking you and again I, i'm and i'm not able to understand and i have to ask you again and again so i just left it uh in midway without addressing uh, that question so uh, the point that i would like to point it out is uh, if we are becoming good listeners good speakers it creates a smooth flow of conversation two people can exchange their information knowledge ideas in in very practical way 
and it also is helps in bridging uh, the bonding between the two persons creating understanding and good relationship and in my current profession it is also very important that i we we have to be ready all the time for presentations anytime we uh we have to for instance uh, make any any work then there might be and the demand of the situation and we'll have to present so presentation is skills are really vital even uh, when we are working in virtual world so in my current organization that was my very first day so because we uh, at that time i was uh, extremely exhausted and jet lagged uh, because at that time soon after i came from pakistan to the uk and then i shifted my all the luggage from a uh, different place to reading and then i started the uh, work so i was ext- extremely exhausted with all the traveling and then moving my luggage so one of my fellow he was telling um, me the story about his dog so i could not understand his either he he started the conversation with the name of his dog or just dog and later on the very ne- next sentence he used was she i i left her at my uh, at my relative so to me it seemed like he is talking about his girl or daughter about his daughter so <laughs> then i asked him a very weird question that whether his daughter is uh, how old is his daughter and then he looked at me and he was genuinely being nice and he without showing cringe then he just replied i'm talking about my dog therefore such sort of situations create are creating lots of issues and once we have uh, become good communicators able to express our ideas clearly effectively and simultaneously public speaking is whole lot it, it's not just speaking we do not have to use the filler words we have to use vocal varieties we have to take appropriate pauses we have to use sensible words which make sense and avoid unnecessary usages uh, usage of words and then also be become a good listeners so these were some of the issues uh, uh, that i will be presenting tomorrow uh, during my presentation at the reading public uh, reading speakers club who's uh, i i have become is a uh, vice president as well and the best thing is uh, like i'm making these videos so i can rewatch my videos and and check my level of progress over time and in i can also try to figure out my mistakes weaknesses and over time i i can work on them and, but however at the club they are all the experienced persons who have been public speakers some of them are coaches uh, corporate corporate trainers so we give presentations and then receive feedback as well that helps uh, in improving communication skills and first time i joined my this club back in glasgow however unfortunately i could not remain consistent and the reason being that in glasgow life was too hectic I have to do part time jobs university assignments prepare food wash your laundry so there is too much stuff to uh, to deal with but life here has uh, given me the luxury that i consider this time in reading is luxury that i am able to dedicate some time for public speaking club as well and for that reason i joined this club in the beginning the mi- biggest ever mistake i used to make was i was habitual uh of using the filler words and too many filler words such as ah uh, um, um 
uh, I could struggle to find the ap appropriate word but later on from my club I learned the usage of pauses if you need time I need to take pauses and stay is still rather than using unnecessary filler words and make your talk speech a bit boring so these are uh, some of the key skills that I, I developed over time uh, from my club and which I'm finding really useful and that also motivated me that I should be working on my public speaking and communication skills. In Glasgow, I came across very nice persons who have been uh, distinguished speakers and they have been part of the club like for ages 8, 10, 12 years and they have been doing fantastic, superb job. Whenever they used to deliver a speech, it seemed like they are pulling the crowd towards themselves and we were all used to be attentive what the speaker is trying to say. So these are very powerful skills that not just myself but anyone who is watching this video I also want you guys to improve uh, your public speaking skills that is the single best thing uh, in your life maybe a few years down the line you would realize the importance and impact that this very skill will have on your personal as well as professional gro growth once you're good professional uh, good communicators you can resolve very complex issues of your life of your professional life because Communication barrier uh, creates lots of issues, but with good communication skills, we are all we are trying to address the problems with the problem solving approach. And problem solving approach is really what is needed the most. Every complicating the situation is issues is really easy, much easier to do. But resolving issues is not the, the something that everyone can do. Therefore, my best advice would be to take up time from your busy routines, busy schedules and just improve on public speaking skills. Sooner or later, who are not good communicator skills, this thing will be haunting us all the way it is it ha haunted me at some point and I did realize I need to be a better speaker and communicator. Also, <clears throat> whenever you work in, in professional life, especially in corporate world, there will be lots of presentations. You will be in leadership positions to lead presentations, delegations, meetings. So with this vital tool skill, you can be very distinguished leaders. A leader is who leads when he speaks, other lis others will listen. Uh, I, I would also be expecting uh, those who are able to make it to end. Um, I would appreciate your kind feedback and critical feedback. I'm, I'm more than happy uh, to receive your critical feedback, what are going to be my key areas of improvement, what are my weaknesses, what I should be doing to improve my those weaknesses. I'm very open-minded and I would welcome your those suggestions and recommendations. <clears throat> also in university, in especially whenever you, uh, I, I was doing MBA, so in MBA presentation was uh, the part and parcel. So there was a module where we, uh, uh, in halfway in our class, we were sent out to the breakout room. And in breakout room, we had we used to gather around to 
discuss the contents of the presentation and one or two persons out of our entire group they used to lead the presentation and if you will be go uh, good uh, with, with presentations uh, again you will not regret to have invested some time on yourself in my class there were few really good communicators and speakers and presenters so whenever they presented and we had always high expectations from them that okay this our fellow is being for presentation he will do fantastic superb job and they really did they delivered to our expectations so whenever they used to be groups we always used to ask that person uh, uh, whoever used to be good with presentations that they should also join our group i we should be joining their groups because of their ex excellent presentation skills over time i have also realized and you might have uh, found out from those conversations that i don't hesitate to admit my mistakes because the, the these were the mistakes i used to use filler words my flow used to, uh, used to be uh, inconsistent in communications and these were some of the mistakes which really uh, had negative impact on my communication skills but as soon as i started picking up pace and i did realize that what i should be doing uh, to improve my those communication skills first i did analyze my weaknesses my mistakes and this is all just an effort to identify weaknesses and to correct those weaknesses <laughs> and especially i heard in what i mentioned in my last video that 70% of the success lies with good communication skills and 30% with professional skills and i there is even though there is not a, an established fake reality but it holds water that 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 can be assumed that can be the case communications are key key to your performance productivity and uh, growth in the long run and people who are good good with communication skills they will always be outshining with rest uh, compared to the rest of the colleagues knowledge of the industry knowledge of uh, that particular subject is one thing but delivery of that content that that knowledge and what we are uh, we, what we would like to say communicate that is another thing so even a person with good knowledge if he or she will not be able to deliver that content then that will have that those efforts will be half materialized at the beginning i also used to be very uh, camera shy person even though i am a uh, camera shy person these days so sometimes i'm not comfortable speaking in front of the camera and the reason being that i uh, i have not i have not, never been used to it but few days earlier i was reading a quote which i have shared on my facebook uh, page as well which says uh, it is never too late and only the first thing is uh, i i cannot exactly recall but first thing is to take the first step which is not going to be right but after making hundreds of attempts it is going to be perfect it is just the repetition of the uh, those behaviors and with re consistent repetition we will be able to develop ma mas mas ma and attain mastery over this skill it is just an art and any art can be learned in any time it is never too late it is not impossible it all just takes efforts and consistent efforts and once it has become part of our habits and also i i would like to admit today i have not been caring considering cons consider it 
when it comes to making videos i do not edit my videos i do not uh, stop my videos try to take uh, good shots edit up music i don't do that because at, at this stage i cannot afford to do all that because i haven't really got enough time to do all the um, those things because it requires very good time to learn editing skills editing music making good videos editing thumbnails uh, maybe i might do that at some point in future but as of now uh, <coughs> excuse me i i'm not able to do that so um, my apologies uh, with all my friends and fellows who are able to watch this video but over time i will also try to do that so um, why i am apologizing because like i said at the beginning if we are doing something we need to put in some good efforts if we are not putting in efforts that means we are not showing care concern about people for whom it is meant to be so likewise whenever i'm making videos um, people who are watching those videos that means i'm not showing care and concern i'm being careless so uh i really want to apologize but i will not be disappointing you over time so that was all my discussion for today um so i will be probably making another video tomorrow when i'll come back from uh reading speakers club and i will be sharing my experience how was my experience with uh, my speech what feedback did i receive uh, I, i will have received and then um in light of uh, that feedback what sort of improvement is skills that i will be practicing on in the next uh, one two weeks will be really useful until then again uh, take care and we'll meet again